Here we have a 2012 Honda Civic Type S GT three-door hatchback in a sort of metallic bronze brown finish. Real nice looking car and if we start with the offside front tyre, tread depth here you're looking at easily a good five millimetres in the centre of the offside front tyre there. Looking at the offside front tyre which would have done on a sort of grey finish, as you can see quite a bit of paint is starting to peel off the alloy. Um, so a definite refurb is going to be required here as you can see. A lot of paint has come off the alloy there. There is some curb marks as well around the outside edge of the alloy. Taking a look down the offside of the vehicle, um, you've got a very distinctive dent there, as you can see on the video, right in the driver's door. Apart from that, it can't see anything else. Around the offside front arch, nice condition. Driver's mirror, nothing at all to report there. Driver's door itself, just one or two touch-ins will be required on the paintwork, as you can see there, just some minor marks. One or two like scratches as well, just need a little bit of a polish, as you can see there. Door edge, that's looking pretty clean. Um, you've got the panoramic roof on top, it's a real nice feature. Moving towards the rear arch, uh, definitely looks like it's had a bit of paint, I think, on the rear arch. Actually, no, no, it's just, that was just me. Um, as you can see, the paintwork looks fine. Rear arch and rear quarter, uh, nothing at all to report there. Rear tyre, you've easily got good five millimetres there, so plenty of tread on the front and rear tyre. Front alloy, again, as you can see, there is some curbing and uh, paint peel on this alloy. Uh, mainly curbing around the alloy, so a definite refurb there. Moving towards the uh, rear end of the vehicle. Looking at the rear bumper, nice condition, no signs of any damage there. Near side rear quarter also looks very clean, nothing at all to report. So again, from the back, just one or two light scratches will need a polish, that's all in good order there. Inside the boot you've got your parcel shelf, no sign of any spare wheel, but nice condition. Near side rear tyre, again we're looking at around 4 to 5 millimetres there on the near side rear. Near side rear alloy, again we have got some paint peel and curbing around the majority of the alloy as you can clearly see from the video there. So again a refurb will be needed. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, you've got a very small a little dent here just on the rear arch. Um, apart from that I can't see anything else down the near side of the bodywork here. The paintwork looks very clean. One or two touch-ins against the paintwork. Door edge, that's fine. Again, just one or two light scratches on the paintwork. Just need a polish, but it's looking very clean. Mirror's fine, front arch. Uh, there's a little bit of, uh, as you can see, sort of uh, a blemish on the paintwork. I'm not quite sure uh, what that is. Uh, it's not coming off with the nail though, so again, just be wary of that. Front tyre, easily good five to six mil there, so plenty of tread on all four tyres. And again, a refurb will be needed to the front alloy as you can see, so four wheel refurbs on the vehicle. We ran to the front of the car, uh, just one or two stone chips on that front quarter, no signs of any damage at all there. Moving around to the front, again, just one or two stone chips on that side, as well as the bonnet, which is a bit expected really from a used vehicle. But here's the exterior, if take a look at the interior. As you can see inside, you've got the cloth and sort of suede Alcantara finish. Uh, as you can see, there is a bit of wearing there on the bolster of the driver's seat. And um, again, that just happens with age, no damage there. Front passenger seat, again, nice condition. That's looking good. And the rear seats, if we take a look in the back, again, as you can see, nice condition, just needs a good valet inside, but no damage at all there. Take a look at your sense console and dash, all very tidy. Steering wheel, just a slight bit of wearing around there, age related again, but nice condition. Uh, there is uh, one key with me and there is a key to follow as well, so there will be two keys, uh, just one with me at the minute though, and looking at the display whilst we start the vehicle. As you can see, no issue at all starting the car, 75,531 miles on the clock, so it does look really well actually for the mileage that it's done. A half tank of fuel in there as well, which is nice, but no symbols at all appearing on the dash. Air conditioning is working fine. CD and radio is working great as well, so all the functionality is spot on. Mind your box, then you've got this lovely panoramic roof. Blinds go back and forth, no problem at all, so that's good working order. And looking at your service history, one franchise stamp at the start there at 10. We've got 37, 41 and 67 being your last service done in March this year. Looking at the rest of the paperwork, looking at the V5, we're looking at two owners on the vehicle, so two owners on the car. An MOT expiry date of the 13th of March 2017, so there's plenty left on the MOT. That is the 2012 Honda Civic Type S GT in the metallic brown. Nice looking car, just needs uh, four wheel refurbs, a bit of a polish and a couple of light touch-ins.